definition of heritage chicken means a chicken that is still able to reproduce naturally and raise their babies and not grow so heavy that her skeleton will not support their, um, their weight. I think that the industry concentrates in breeding chickens that are fat or lay more eggs. A small farm like mine might produce less but can keep diversity. And diversity is very important to keep. Because if we have a disease that kills all our chickens, we have had example, mad cow disease, other diseases, you might have a breed that is more resistant to that disease. So the big industry, it's fantastic because it probably feeds a lot of people and the prices go down, but lacks on diversity. And diversity is something that most farms like mine can maintain. Oh, 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 there she is. Warm. And look, it's bluish and it's still warm. <laughs> My chicken are free range. They walk around, they forge, they take sun baths, they do everything they want. One day, by mistake, the hatchery sent me six chickens that were uh, modern uh, chickens. And within four weeks, this chicken, they grew like Frankenstein. They were enormous and they were very aggressive and chased all the other chickens. And one, that is one of the big problems of the industrial farming. Chickens peck each other and they fight with each other. My chickens never fight because there is enough room for everybody. One of the things that I was very surprised when I started raising chickens is to know that chickens have individual personalities. Of course, it's that part also diversity. My goodness, she's screaming. See the, also there, she's screaming. She doesn't want me to hold her. She wants to eat the worm. I think that one of the things that facilitates for us to be omnivore is to dehumanize, to take away any feelings from the animal so that we look at them as object or like vegetable or something that does, doesn't have anything to do with us. And knowing them, unfortunately, they do have feelings, they do have personality. So once you know the animal much closer, it's much harder to eat them. I still, I still a carnivore, but much harder. I love farming, I love animals, and it can just be a hobby. But there is a real role that small farm can play besides feeding locally uh, your neighbor and uh, giving, uh, walks and um, wonderful entertainment to the community. There is a very scientific role that we play in maintaining diversity. So it started as a pleasure, it's still a pleasure, and now it's really a fantastic source of knowledge that I would love to share, uh, not only uh, with me and my friends, but with the community. So for example, the Belport High School keeps a vegetable garden, uh, they come and look at my bees, and my, my, my chickens, and my other animals. So hopefully we will, we could be a place for pleasure and knowledge for everybody.